Hello students, uh, again I have come up with the basic uh, accounting terminology. In the last class I have uh, told you about the transactions, profit, loss and assets and liability. Let, let us see uh, some more terminology which are important from the accounting point of view and you must aware about these. First uh, slide uh, that is regarding the internal liabilities. These represent proprietor's equity, all those amount which are entitled to the proprietor, capital, reserve, undistributed profit. So in the business, you will find the two kinds of liability. One is the internal liability, one is the external liability. Internal liability, it means the liability uh, or you can say the owner's equity is also called as internal liability. So the proprietor's equity, uh, the proprietor who is the owner of the business, he has provided the capital to the business and the capital, it is a kind of liability for the business uh, reserves. It means the part of profit, undistributed profit. Uh, it means uh, that part of profit which has not been distributed amongst the, you can say, the uh, stakeholders of the business. So internal liability, it means it is indicating the owner's uh, fund. Owner's fund, it means the capital contribution made by the owner. You know the contribution made by the owner, it is a kind of liability for the business according to the separate entity concept of accounting. Separate entity concept of accounting tells that the owner and the business both are having the separate legal existence. Next, uh, that is the working capital. The name itself is telling again its meaning. Working capital, it means the capital with which you carry out the day-to-day -day activities. For example, suppose if you have to buy the raw materials, you have to pay for the wages, if you have to pay the salaries, if you have to pay the rain, telephone bills, you need the capital and that capital is known as working capital. So in order to maintain flows of revenue from operation, every firm needs certain amount of current assets. So this is about working capital. Next, you see the contingent liability. It represents a potential obligation that could be created depending on the outcome of an event. If supplier of the business files a legal suit, it will not be treated as a liabilities because no obligation is created immediately. If the verdict of the case is given in favor of the supplier, then only the obligation is created. Till that, it is treated as contingent liabilities. Please note that contingent liability is not recorded in the books of account, but disclosed by way of a footnote to the financial statement. Contingent liability, as you see uh, that uh, this is not liability at yet, but it can become a liability as uh, suppose the supplier has filed a case on you. Uh, and after a certain period of time, when the court gives the judgment in favor of supplier, then it becomes a kind of obligation upon the business. Capital, the word capital, uh, it indicates in the sense of the accounting, it means the owner's contribution. It means the owner who is the entrepreneur, he has made the contribution, he has started a business. So the contribution made by the owner in the business, suppose Ram has a started business with which 5 lakh, so 5 lakh uh, given by Ram to start a business, uh, which is called as capital for the business. Drawings, uh, the word drawing very, uh, you can say a very popular word in the accounting. Drawing, it means the where the owner of the business, as I have taken the example of Ram, who is the owner of the business. Suppose he is drawing the money for the personal use uh, out of the business capital. That is called as drawing. So when you are drawing the capital for own use you it means the owner when the owner is uh, withdrawing the money or any kind of goods uh, from the business for his personal use it is called as drawing next you see the net worth it represents the access of total assets over total liabilities of the business technically this amount is available to be distributed to owners in the event of closure of the business after payment of liabilities that is why it is also termed as owner's equity. A profit-making business will result in increase in the owner's equity where losses will reduce it. So you see uh, net worth, it means uh, when your assets is uh, in excess of your liabilities, that is the net worth for the business. And the non-current investment, the non-current, it means non-current, non-current investments are investments which are held beyond the current period as to sell or disposal fixed deposit for five years. 
so when you make the investment for a period more than uh, up to 5 years uh, it, it comes under the non current investment or you can even you can say that investments made for more than a year it comes under the non current investment the debtor and creditor the two important words for the business debtor it means the persons those you sell on credit it means these person have to repay back the money to the business and the creditor it means from whom you buy on credit so debtor and creditor the two important words you know the credit sales and the credit purchase you know the business do not want to sell on the credit but still to maintain the relationship with the customer and the supplier suppliers provide you the goods on credit and you provide the goods on credit to the customer because you have to maintain the relationship with the customers one side and one side the supplier he has also to maintain the relationship with uh, the you can say the business because they all have to carry out uh, the business so debtors and creditor creditors they are the outcome of the credit purchase and the credit sales so this is all about uh, today's uh, second lecture on the basic terminology so let us have uh, one uh, revision session internal liability it means the owner's contribution to the business whatever the capital contributed by the owner this has to be returned back to the owner so the contribution it means the capital introduced or invested by the owner that is in the internal liability working capital the name itself is telling its meaning working it means for the working of the business uh, the capital needed that is known as working capital as i told you that each day you have to buy the raw materials you have to pay the wages you have to pay the rent you have to pay the fares you have to pay the carriage so for this you need the money which is known as current liabilities contingent liabilities which are not liability at yet but in certain conditions or on the happening of certain uh, you can say the events it can become the obligation uh, on the business capital it means the contribution made by the owner is known as capital drawings it means uh, when the owner of the business is withdrawing his capital for his personal use it is known as drawings net worth excess of assets over liabilities is net worth non current and current the two words the current it means for a year and non current it means more than a year so when you are making the investment for a year that is the current investment when you are making the investment for more than a year and the debtor and creditor two words debtors it means person to whom the credit sale is made and the creditor is the person from whom the credit purchase is made so these are the important terminology that you must know to understand accounting in the proper manner so this is all about uh, this session so i will meet you uh, with the new topic in the next session